as we now have Fnatic going to be taking on Royal Never Give Up RNG. So it is going to be Ana playing the Pudge here. That's some fun stuff from RNG. Oh, they're going to jump on an override here. A surprise attack coming out. On the strike, and a couple more auto attacks needed. He is going to be a first blood for Tomato. Dubu having to heal up. Poison's adding up, but Chalice cannot chase further. Picking him on him right here. Having to fall back. Fade Bolt. Jab's running at him. Just doesn't have Primal Roar yet, so. Can't necessarily go for a big kill, although they lift him in, and that might have backfired on them. Or at least Ana's manning up as if he wants to go for that. Popping a fairy fire now. Wrath of Nature comes through though, and DJ was not ready for that. Rubik goes down. The Sprout Beastmaster able to TP out at least. They did not have a stopper. This assassin coming in the flank, and Callus somewhat baiting them out right here. Dubu's definitely got a no man's land. They they want jabs, but he is going to TP out safely. Now they need to at least get Dazzle. Four heroes up here, and they will do that. So. Bought him. Fuck. The hook. Does he go for Radiant's it? Top tower yep. He did not have a face shift up. Dismember. Not going to be enough kill. The counter hook from Rubik coming now. That's always fun to see. Pulls away. Ana. And Ana now. By himself. Oh, we got lifted on the cliff. Awkward. Oh. He doesn't have a TP currently, so. To figure out how to get out of this one. <laughs> It'll be there eventually, Ana. But with Pudge out of the game, they're going to go for Viper at the top lane. They don't, don't need to worry about Pudge for the time being, at least. He's now caught with the Drain Quill. Using the Viper Strike on a DJ, trying to take him with him, at least. But I don't think it's going to be enough damage. DJ should survive. In lane, that Vendetta auto attack. Great Splinter Blast timing as well. But it is not enough, as Dubu will stay alive with the Shallow Grave. However, that wears off, and a couple of auto attacks from Somnus. Mm. I'm just still over here, by the way. He has 10 more seconds on the TP. <laughs> He's like, gotta farm somehow. Right now, Pudge is TPing out finally. And I'm still working on the axe for Pudge. Look at this, Kaka still hanging around. Impale's coming up in a couple of seconds. He's got it right here. Auto attack Impale. Yeah, they're gonna go for it, Viper. He pushes himself. And there's the Impale combo with the Vendetta auto attack, and now... Jab's in trouble. As Prowl nearby, though, just running around this tree as best he can, hoping that line of sights, but it is not going to matter. Meanwhile, down here, the catch on the Dazzle. TP in from Somnus. Orchid. Burn will finish the job. And bottom lane. Lift up. Pudge. He, it goes without saying, though, he is tanky. They're going to drink coil this. Dismember. Not only heals on up, uh, will be stopped very quickly. This member from DJ coming out immediately. In response, Wukong's command throwing down as well. Do they actually kill the Pudge here? The answer is no. He's going to turn into a pig and run away. However, they're going to get Nature's Prophet, who I didn't even realize TP'd in. Okay. In his Bryl with the haste. Drew and Drinkwell, they catch Viper. In the back lines, he's also going for Winter Wyvern, but the Drink Call locked into the Viper. However, the Cold Embrace, and now the Curse on a Monkey King. The BKB is not going to help with that. And now they're turning Ana. Going to dismember him as well. Yes, he couldn't get off the Wukongs. Tomato just completely locked down. The Wukongs finally goes off. The Shadow Grave will barely keep him alive, but for how long? Meanwhile, to the left, they're trying to deal with Nature's Prophet. Down goes Monkey King. Nature's Prophet is dead. So actually, numbers-wise, that did go a little bit better for Fnatic than at first glance. A lot of resources used just to kill that Monkey King in the Shadow Grave, delaying it quite a bit. They're smoking up. Radiant are scanning. And they're going to hit a scan. Double damage Viper. Are scanning. Hook back from DJ. DJ's like, thank you very much for Punch. However, speaking of Punch, the real one jumps in. The Crips are guard the Cold Embrace. Going to save Viper for the time being. The Lockdown on the Punch. But the Force Staff away. Oh my god, is he really going to live? No freaking away! Pudge will survive. Bryo goes down over here, meanwhile, and now Rubik's in trouble. And this is going to be the free Roshan now, the first one of the game. Here we go the way of RNG. Monkey King, the scan hits, so he starts sleeping away, but Kaka happens to be in the area. Meanwhile, over here, what's going on? Pudge, they're looking for a kill on a Dubu. Shallow Grave keeps himself alive a little bit longer. But will get taken out. Tomato killed Nyx Assassin. Off to the right. Jumps back on a tree. Up, coming down. Beastmaster could be in trouble. He's going to see Somnus because of that sentry right there. But he did not know Wyvern was also nearby. 
The curse on him. His minion's killing himself. After all the maxes, here comes Bryle to assist. Trying to go for the turn on to Somnus. Somnus manning up, though. Up against the puck. The burn is not going to be enough. Down goes Nature's Prophet. Winter Wyvern. The Suri Orb eventually gets killed off by Jay as well. Oh, that's Viper caught out. BKB's up, but still being run down. They have a stopper for this. Now with Ana showing up in Kaka, definitely not. In fact, just remember, used on Beastmaster, Shallow Grave, Wukong's Command, put down. But Jab's likely to die as soon as that Shallow Grave wears off. There we go. The Rod just too much. And the pull in from Amana gets the kill onto Dubu as well. Can't get the third. Beastmaster's dead for 35 seconds. No buyback. And they do not have a Wukong's Command either. So, yeah, this, this really should be not only a free tower, but perhaps even the Rex. Tell RNG is pretty confident about it. They go through the invulnerability. <coughs> oh, the hook, it connects. He catches Rubik. Shallow Grave can get a save. But the second that wears off, maybe a different story. Down he goes. Pudge ends up pursuing. Buy back immediately from Rubik, though. Ana now walking back. The racks have been destroyed. Jump in from Brile. Brile Dream Coil. Gonna be snapped immediately. Axis coming through. Curse. Used on a Beastmaster, though, and Beastmaster's being beat down. No buyback for him. Dazzle once again dies. Tomato finally with the Wukong's command. It comes back up. Ana, another Crimson Guard, another push with the Forest Staff, and he'll be fine. Oh, look at the team coming. Yeah, he cuts the tree. Uh-oh. Tomato in trouble. Somnus. Comes in with the Orchid. There's the Sprout, and Tomato is in an absolute death trap. He's just going to do whatever he can to find this. Brow comes in late. I don't know about this, though. They already lost a monkey. And now Bryles, he's a bad spot. He's going to manage to orb away and... Going to smoke. RNG is going to be the one to smoke. Kaka missed the impale. Brow jumps in, but immediately Pudge responds. Next assassin. Bold Embrace saves him. Curse on a monkey king, keeping him in place. And now Viper, the beatdown cometh. The pullback, no, on a, unable to get the hook. In the back line, so Nature's Prophet is there, cuts him off, putting in the right clicks. Monkey King Wukong's command is going to be able to go off thanks to the Shallow Grave. Doesn't matter, though. Monkey King just simply trying to get the hell on out of here. The heals are happening, but no, pull it back in. Finally dies. He will buy back immediately, but look at Ana in the middle of everyone. He just doesn't give a shit. He is just up here, the fat ass he is. Doing work on Pudge. Tier 3 tower. Likely to fall. He'll pull in the Beastmaster now. Again, another shallow grave. Going to delay what seems to be the inevitable. Although, the pushback. And the heal. So, he is going to be fine. They're just spamming everything they got. But Puck is picked up. Finally, Beastmaster goes down. And no buybacks on either one of those. I think the end is basically here. GG's are called victory for RNG. This Pudge just way too strong. This is game number two now. RNG versus Fnatic here. We have Pudge picked up by Fnatic this time around. So swapping Fnatic, but they say, hey, you can win with this hero, so can we. Doppelin, though, first blood goes out. Warlock ends up going down. Forge at the top lane, by the way. DJ coming in. So here we go. Chalice. Gonna be brought back. What's up, the Malphite stun? Trying to survive as long as he can. It's not going to be long enough. Rubik going to go for a turn on DJ, but not nearly enough damage from him. Ana. <clears throat> Dean ran to the trees. Another hunting for him. Dismember is ready for Pudge. Going to connect. Yes, there's a Dismember, but they're at this tower. No TP's coming in yet. Having to stand his ground is Ana by himself. Maybe get the turn kill on DJ. He will. Ana finally falls. Kaka's going to hold on to that time walk for now. Zeus, by the way, what does he have? He's got a Kaya. Now the top farm of the game, the smoke play. Looking to jump on the faces, boy. They'll lift him back in the black hole. The Catacomber immediately comes out, though. But there's the Witch's Curse on top. Faceless Void likely to die when it's all said and done. Everything used in the book. And right now, RNG ahead of this fight. They're going further. Time walk forward from Kaka. Gets another kill. Dubu. Shoveling in the meantime, might as well pick up that bounty rune. Enigma could be saved by the Cold Embrace for now. Never mind, the burn is too much. Buyback, by the way, for Marcy. Lockdown on a Rubik back here from Pudge. 
Thanks to this member. Three player smoke rotation from Fnatic. Flying in, who's this? That's Enigma. Enigma's in a very dangerous spot. Push back. Callus. Up by stuns. Not gonna matter. Jabs just walks on up. No dismember even needed. Pretty aggressive. Doesn't really have a lot of backup though. I guess he has Zeus. They want the quick kill on Bryl. He is fairly farmed, however. Not an easy kill, in fact, especially with Marcy nearby. And now the last one is Zeus. Zeus in trouble. Dubu goes down, by the way. Also, Brow goes down as well. DJ trying to finish off that Zeus. And cannot. So this is actually working out for RNG pretty well. Dabs. Walking away. Teammates are dead. How does he fight back against this? Has that dismember still? Look. Oh, it's actually going to hit Zeus. He didn't even mean to. And now the Chronosphere on both. This is big, but Pudge is caught in as well. Cold Embrace, the Winter's Curse on Faces Void, though. And Pudge likely to die after. I say likely. God, he's so freaking tank, you know. He's still alive, and Wyvern will fall. Jab stays alive. The Counter comes out. Down goes Zeus. The hook is swinging a miss, but it doesn't matter. Rubik goes down as well. And a welcome to Pudge Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Chalice is just simply trying to run on out of here. Tomato in pursuit. Malpha stuns wearing off. Another time walk, and there's the kill. You clean it up the whole way. This is going to be a five player smoke from Fnatic. Here we go. Is spotted. Ryo. I thought he would hit the lasso. He went in, but Bo's not connecting. Slow him down with a whip. The hook sets up for the easy hook, and down goes Wyvern. He's under attack. Enigma almost finishing the uh, the Wraith Pact. Jumping in. Time walk away from Cock in the black hole. Catches Jazz, but the counter conference comes in a response. Chalice now getting low himself. Jabs is so low, just like last time, but no, the dismember heals him up a little bit. The curse is actually going to be used as well, but it's not enough. Jabs stays alive. Are you kidding me? They can't kill this beast. Finally, they do. But it's a complete wipe favoring Fnatic. And the tower kill on top of it. Wow. 3,000 worth lead now, and they go immediately to the Roshan pit. Oh, Chronosphere from Tomato catches two. Rubik, he's going to be the first target dead. Zeus, likely in trouble as well, although it buys him time to get some damage out as well. Time walk away, Tomato heals it all. Jabs, lands the hook though on his Zeus. Zeus is locked down this whole time. Cold Embrace keeps him alive a little bit longer, but with a rot on top, he's still melting away. Zeus is dead for 50. He is not coming back. Curse on a Bat Rider. Nova attempting to survive with it. Not going to happen. Brian will also stay alive despite it. The time walk actually interrupts the hook. To try to kill Chalice, but Chalice still will tick down. Uh oh, Ana. Ana's caught. Oh no. Get the bash. Another bash. Another bash. Another one. Another one. Goes back with the shard. There's a bounce around with the Omni Slash. However, the time walk he heals hunt up. He comes back and more bash procs hitting. And Ana just can't do a damn thing throughout this. The Cold Embrace saves him a little bit longer, but finally goes down. Zomnus also caught in the back. That's another wipe, and they're just going to call it. GG well played. Fnatic will take into and once again split the series against RNG.